Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today we're tackling an important question that many developers encounter. Is it a Docker best practice to use volume for the code? This question leads us to consider the volume instruction in Docker, which is typically used to manage database storage, configuration files, and other mutable parts of your container. But what about your application code, like jar files? Could using a volume for your code make deployment easier without the need to rebuild your image? Let's explore the potential benefits and considerations, including performance and security, of storing your code in a volume. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. When considering whether to use a Docker volume for your code, it's important to understand the purpose of volumes. Volumes are designed to persist data generated by and used by Docker containers. Using a volume for your code, such as jar files, can be convenient. It allows you to deploy updates without needing to rebuild your Docker image each time. However, there are considerations to keep in mind. Performance can be affected, especially if the volume is on a networked file system. Additionally, security is a concern, as exposing your code can lead to vulnerabilities. In summary, while using a volume for your code can enhance convenience, weigh the benefits against potential performance and security risks. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Using a volume for your application code might seem convenient, but it has its drawbacks. It's better to encapsulate your app version within an image build for easier deployment. When you use a volume, you need to manage additional deployment methods to update that volume, which can complicate things. You also need to ensure that the jar version matches the image version, adding another layer of complexity. In terms of security and performance, there aren't significant concerns but using volumes for code isn't a common practice. As mentioned by experts, using the volume command in a Docker file can be tricky. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.